Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in this video, I thought I would show you how I set up my financial, I guess, money management um, notebook. How, how I do, I guess, like financial planning. I mean, I'm not, you know, obviously a professional financial planner, but I do keep track of my money and my finances. And I have recently moved into a bigger notebook as you can see this is the um, Chic Sparrow A5 American Dream Deluxe in the color piece and I just recently moved into this bigger size to manage my money and my financial stuff before I was using a narrow size notebook which I have since repurposed for something else and I will obviously share that in another video but I found that this size was just really too small for everything that I wanted to keep track of this is like a narrow standard size uh, foxy fix in the butterscotch wonderlust and it's a great notebook however like I said I was just finding that this size was just too small to keep track of everything that I wanted to keep track of so I have like I said <laughs> moved into a um, a5 size so as you can see it is green because I of course wanted to associate this notebook strictly for money and finances I love the color it's very beautiful vibrant and um, unbelievably this one's really really soft and pliable um, it's just a really rich green color and I think it just works perfectly at least in my mind for using this to track your financial stuff so let's go ahead and look inside. Now, as you can see, I have an Ollie clip here on the front, and that's strictly for aesthetic purposes. It doesn't serve any type of useful thing. It's not holding papers or anything. I just kind of like the way the colors look together. Um, if you've seen my other videos, you know I kind of have a love-hate relationship with those things because I find that sometimes they stay on and sometimes they don't. I don't know if I just got some bad ones or if that's just how they are. But anyways, so here is the inside, and as you can see, this is a deluxe. Uh, it's got pockets here, which I don't use. I do have a big pocket here, which I have moved my biarchy high, my yeah, biarchy of needs. Um, that was in my other notebook because I figured this is the perfect place for it because it's all about financial stuff. And this just kind of keeps me on track with my spending. Now I am doing a no spend July right now, so. Um, that's good to have there. This first insert is a zip pouch and what I use this for is just my receipts. What I do is I put all my receipts for everything I buy for the whole month in here and then I will show you as we go through the notebook how I um, reconcile these receipts and then at the end of the month I clean them all out and then start again with the new month of receipts but I just put them all in here because I like to keep track and then if I ever need a receipt for whatever reason I know I have it so this first notebook I got from uh, TJ Maxx it's just a lined notebook and um, as you can see I have covered some things that are personal in here so uh, this basically is just kind of a brain dump for my financial stuff or just notes, uh, a notebook, anything that I find that I want to take notes on as it relates to money and finance. Uh, as you can see, I have one of my favorite quotes here. Um, I took notes on the most recent video that Romani did when she was setting up her financial notebook or planner. So I just thought that she had some good points in there. So I just took notes uh, on her video. I also have a brain dump for money and finances. Um, I printed out the Dave Ramsey uh, Seven Baby Steps, which is interesting because I have a lot, a lot of these done, but they're out of order. You know, like, like our house is paid off. I have my college fund started for my son, but I don't have three to six months um, expenses and savings. So I just kind of put this here so I can remember I have to get all of these done. However, um, I have found that I, <laughs> I haven't really been following the order that you're supposed to do it in, and I don't know if that, if that even really matters. Um, I also have in here my goals. I have my goals for July, and then I have my big 
main goals here. And as you can see, I have covered that up because I don't want to share that publicly. But every month I do that. I write my money goals for the month. And then I rewrite my big overall goals because I find that the more you write them, the more that it gets imprinted into your mind and it helps you to um, stay focused on them. Um, I also have, this isn't from a class I'm doing where you rewrite your money story. Um, oh, and this is my spend log here. I just, um, every time I spend money, um, like I said, I'm doing a no spend this month, so... Um, I'm not necessarily spending money. I mean, I spend money on the things I have to, obviously, like groceries, gas, bills, and that type of thing, but I'm not spending any money on stuff that I may not need. So that's all that's in this first notebook. It's just a line notebook. It came in a three-pack. I think it was 4 or $5, again, from uh, TJ Maxx. This is the back of the zip pocket. Again, these are just some stickers I want to use up, Erin Condren stickers. This next insert is <laughs> very, very, um, I kind of like this because it's fun. This is kind of like my bill tracker, money tracker insert. I printed out a picture of a cute little piggy bank and stuck him on the front just because I thought it was so cute. Um, oops, that doesn't belong in there. Now my first in. Uh, my first page of this insert has a money tree. Now, I have a friend who is really into feng shui, and she says everyone needs a money tree, especially in your planner or your notebook, because it brings prosperity, wealth, good luck, and all kinds of abundance into your life. So I'm not sure, um, you know, how it works or... I mean, I do believe it, and sometimes I think it's silly, but I thought it would be fun. So what I did is I printed out a picture of a money tree, stuck it in here, and then just kind of decorated it with, you know, a little bit of washi tape, and I really do love it. I love opening up this notebook and seeing the money tree because it really does make you feel good. I mean, you know, when it comes to money, it's all about how you feel and how you um, think about it. So that is my personal money tree, and it's, you know, it's just for fun. Now, here is my bill tracker here. I just made this up myself, and I do it for every six months. Um, obviously, I'm starting a new six-month spread here. So I just finished um, January through June, and now I'm starting July through December. And what I do is I just write my expenses here, and then at the end of the month, I put the total that I spent for each one of these just so I know. And obviously I have quite a few expenses, unfortunately, but um, it's very easy and then it helps me to see throughout the months, you know, if anything changes or am I spending, like especially here in Las Vegas, our um, my energy bill will be much higher in the summer months than in the winter months because we're constantly running the AC because we have triple digit weather, heat weather here. But, um, also, I'd like to track how much I put into savings every month. So that's all this is. I've also given myself a couple more pages in case for some reason I need them. So that is that, the monthly bill tracker. The next few pages are uh, miscellaneous spending. Now, like I said, I'm doing a no spend July. So I shouldn't have really anything to write here, but basically what this is, is it's just spaces to write random stuff that I spend throughout the month. Now this is, this is stuff that obviously I do have uh, miscellaneous here on the bill tracker, but I don't like to know like just miscellaneous was, you know, a hundred dollars or whatever. Like if I went to, I don't know, Dollar Tree and spent six dollars on something that wasn't in another category. I want to know what that miscellaneous spending was. Or sometimes, you know, my son will get invited to a birthday party and then we'll have to buy a gift or he'll spend money at Chuck E. Cheese. That'll go under miscellaneous spending because that's not a monthly expense. That's just something that happens every so often. But I like to know what the miscellaneous spending is. So I, I've given myself this page and I don't give myself a lot of room because there shouldn't be a whole lot of stuff. But I give myself this page to track what those miscellaneous expenses are. And again, I've given myself a couple more 
um, pages. Then I have my monthly budget for July 2016, and I've actually printed this out on a um, on a um, Excel spreadsheet, which I'm actually gonna just paste in here. So that's why this page is blank, but I didn't wanna share that <laughs> on the video, so that's why it's blank. But anyways, my monthly budget goes here. And sometimes I do it on a spreadsheet, sometimes I just write it here. This is graph a graph paper insert, so I could do it here. It just depends on what I feel like doing at the moment. So that's all that's in my bill tracker insert. I've got plenty of plenty of extra pages for the rest of the year so I will obviously do the same thing for August September and so on and then I will make um, oops no that's it and then I will obviously total my amounts here okay uh, the next insert is my uh, financial education insert now one of the things that I have struggled with for pretty much all my life is is learning about money and and really studying and knowing how money and finances work. So what I have done is I have committed to doing at least an hour a week of some type of financial study, financial reading, classes, either in person or online, and that's what this last insert is for because I need some place, obviously, to track all the stuff I learn. Obviously, you can see I've got some really cool quotes on here that are very motivating and inspiring. And this is the first page, again, because my friend, um, she really inspired me. She said, we need to have a, a pot of gold. <laughs> so I think that was fun. So I have my pot of gold here. And um, I just really like this picture. So it's just money and... Um, yeah, I just stuck it in there for fun. So this is my tracker for my financial education. Now, so what I do is every Friday, I spend at least 30 minutes on Yahoo Finance. So I either read an article, watch a video, whatever. It's just that's my commitment every week is to go on Yahoo Finance and learn about what's going on in the world of money. Um, I also take online classes. Now Morningstar has some really good financial classes, especially if you're a beginner, like beginning investment classes. They have classes on so many things. They do have free classes, but I had a paid subscription. Mine has since expired. But um, you can buy classes or buy, an, uh, buy a subscription to have access to so many classes on everything and anything you can think about as it relates to money, um, finances, and investing. Um, I'm also taking an online class right now called Manifest 10K, and I'm reading a book called The Dynamic Laws of Prosperity. So that is what I'm focusing on for my financial education right now. Now, when I was in my um, narrow size notebook, I had this, and you can see I've got all of my notes from the financial classes and books I've read in here, but I don't... I'm kind of in a quandary of whether or not do I want to transfer all of these notes from this insert into here, or do I just want to stick this notebook in here somewhere, somehow? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm, kind of, I'm still trying to figure that out because I don't know if I really want to recopy all these notes, but at the same time, I do want to keep them with this notebook. So, hmm, anyway, but uh, so I've got plenty of room here to obviously write more notes for classes and books I'm reading. So that's what this last insert is. This is just my financial education insert. I have uh, a, da a dashboard in here from Foxy Fix and, oh, I keep a hundred dollar bill in this notebook. Now this notebook stays in the house. I never take it with me. But this is kind of like my emergency money. Like if, God forbid, some reason I couldn't get to the bank and something happened and I needed cash, I know I always have at least $100 to um, help me in, <laughs> in the so-called emergency situation. 
But now the other thing which I have learned is that subconsciously having this money here that I have no intention of spending, it really imprints your mind that there is plenty of money in your life, that there is no lack, that you always have abundance. And so just kind of seeing this here and knowing that I have this money and that I don't need to you know, spend it and I don't need to like use it to like, quote, pay bills, that it's just here serving me, you know, as kind of a safety net really does something to your subconscious and how you think about money. So I just wanted to share that with you. I mean, I've obviously, I've worked up to a hundred dollar bill. Um, at first it was $20. And then after, uh, after a month or two, I doubled that to uh, $40. And then after that, I doubled it to $80. And then I finally have worked my way up to a hundred dollars. So I just thought I'd share that because um, it's been really, it's been really kind of fun just knowing I have that there and then seeing it every time I go in this notebook and just knowing that, yes, I'm okay. I have money. Um, this last insert, obviously, when I close the book, it sticks out. <laughs> but um, it's okay because I don't take this out of the house. And when I bought it, I thought it was an A5 size. And you can see when the book is open, it doesn't overlap. But when I close it, it does, but this is just a calendar, and I obviously have July um, clipped off, but because I work from home, I don't get paid like every other Friday, or um, I don't have, oops, why is this not focusing? I don't have set paydays, so I may have, there we go, I may get um, paid on the 4th, and then again on the 8th, and then again on the 18th. So I don't have set paydays, but my money just kind of comes in sporadically during the month. So what I do with this insert is whatever day it is that I get money, I just write down the day on the day, how much money I get, so I know how much money I have coming in for the entire month. And um, yeah, so that's all this is. It's just a month on two pages. I bought this at uh, TJ Maxx also. And like I said, I thought it was A5 size, but it's not. But it's just a month on two pages. It goes all the way up to December 2017, so I'll be able to use it for a while. It's got pretty pink flamingos on it. I liked it. Um, oh, back here I have some stickers that I need to use. And this is the back of that dashboard here. Um, I just have some green notebook paper in case I need it in this back pocket. And that is it. So that is my financial planner, Traveler's Notebook. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed seeing how I track my finances. Now, I am a single mom with only one son, so obviously my situation is going to be different than yours. But, you know, obviously you just make it work for um, whatever your situation is. All right, if you have any questions, please post them below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please do because I have a lot more to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.